Hey gang, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I was super looking forward to making this one. So I did spend many months of my life, I can't remember how long it was in a string, but I backpacked across the US and Canada and each night was camping. And so by the end of that, I thought I'm cool never camping again. I am super over this camping idea. And I kept seeing things online about glamping. So glamping is much like camping, but it's far more luxurious. It's like having a hotel room in a nice structurally sound tent. It just seems so awesome and luxurious. And I thought, you know what? I'd really like to try that. And then this one time I got invited to a glamping stand up paddleboard yoga retreat in Perry Sound, Ontario. So a girlfriend and I hopped in the car and we went to this retreat and it was magical right out in the middle of the wilderness and you feel safer in a tent like that I wasn't as afraid of bears as I usually am it was next level usually these retreats have meals included but because of certain circumstances this time they couldn't have the meals included and so it was more hostile style so we had to bring all of our own food it was from Friday night to Sunday evening and I I thought what a great idea to get a video going on how I stay healthy while I am camping or glamping or traveling through hostels kind of idea and so I packed up all my favorite goodies for situations like this and I had an amazing weekend you can make the most of a camping experience enjoying it by having as much fun as possible and also helping your health out and your hormones balance I mean that's always the best situation in life to me so see you at the end this retreat was hosted at the beautiful Harmony Outdoor Inn. This is the common area where everyone has a shelf in the fridge dedicated to their specific tent. Meals are had together and prepared in here. And just outside down that hill are the two showers. They are beautiful brand new wooden outdoor showers which is also where we wash the dishes and there's a little deck there with a barbecue for all to use. Now for the goods. How do I eat in situations like this? Normally I do buy everything in bulk. I do prepare all of my foods and bring them. Some weekends I do have less time. This was one of those cases. So I did go the slightly more expensive route and I just bought everything that I knew I was going to enjoy and it was only a couple of days so it was okay and it really was enjoyable. I think I packed the perfect healthy snacks and meals for my own personal enjoyment and I'm sure anyone else would enjoy this as well. Keep in mind there are tons of options that you do have and if you would like more options please do comment below and I will give you some. Also keep in mind that I had access to a fridge this weekend and so if you would like information or a video on how I would eat if I did not have access to a fridge, which I have experienced in road trips and backpacking before, comment that below too and I'd be happy to make a video on that for you as well. So for breakfasts, I like to keep heavy protein and healthy fats in every single breakfast. That is paramount for staying satisfied and satiated throughout the rest of the day. So I like to eat granola and I do try to stay away from grains if I can. So I eat quote unquote un-granola. I have linked a recipe below for un-granola that you can make at home. My absolute favorite store-bought one is this one. So it is grain-free, paleo-friendly, keto-friendly. It has huge amount of protein in it, healthy fats. I put that in a bowl with dairy-free yogurt as I do stay away from dairy as well. And I top that with some banana. Sometimes I add hemp hearts or nuts on top of that. And I always like to add some almond butter. Keep in mind that almond butter is better for you than peanut butter as there is less mycotoxins in it. And I find I actually do prefer the taste of almond butter over nut butter, but that adds in more protein and some healthy fats for me to keep me satiated. And there was jam, homemade jam in the common area for anyone to use. So I thought it'd be kind of a treat to add in some jam on top and let me tell you this new PB and J with banana on granola yogurt idea is heaven. I have been having this at home now for breakfast because it is so delicious. 
Try not to eat the same things though day in and day out in your normal life. It is healthier for our pancreas when we can eat different things day in and day out than the same things every day. It's common that the average North American only eats 11 to 14 different foods in their entire lifetime. I mean, that's crazy. So I do try to eat different things day to day, unless of course I'm on a trip like this. Okay, so snacks. For snacks, I love to have rice crackers, almond crackers, dip them in hummus, dip them in avocado hummus, which is a new awesome development that I have discovered. I like to have sliced deli meat of as natural variety as possible. This is the glamping tent. It's pretty sweet. There is only one person to each tent this weekend, which is yay. I brought my own bedding because I just prefer that over sleeping bags. Yeah. So that's it. There are six huts on the property just unbelievably gorgeous and my own bathroom over there way over there back to the food talk i also try to find natural pepperettes if you are vegetarian or vegan you could use chickpeas or any other kind of healthy protein you can find i like apples because they don't have to be refrigerated i still like to refrigerate mine but they last a while they're easy to travel with Hard-boiled eggs, you can boil them yourself, or I did find packages at the grocery store of hard-boiled eggs. I like to have fruit cups, chopped fruit for dessert. I find that really tasty. And chopped veggies in hummus or avocado hummus as well. I buy the container of chopped veggies for trips like this, or bags of baby carrots and sugar snap peas are freaking delightful. You cannot go wrong with mixed bags of nuts as well, or whatever unsalted raw natural nuts you do prefer. And bars, RX bars or paleo bars or any other bar that is absolutely as clean as possible yet feels like a total treat to eat are so delicious. RX bars are the cleanest that I have found. They have a really good amount of protein. You always wanna make sure that you're getting a good amount of protein in a bar. And for trips like this, the packaged salad aisle is your friend. I love these salad kits. There is so much salad crammed into these containers or these salad kits. This one of these salad kits lasted me the entire weekend. And so those are the foods that I generally stick with and I switch it up. I add some, you know, sometimes some sliced pepperettes or some sandwich meat into my salads for dinner. I like to switch things up and just have fun eating a variety of different delicious things as I go about the weekend. That's the gist of it for the food. So I wanted to mention a couple other awesome health tips about being in nature that would benefit you. When you touch your bare feet to the ground, biophysics has shown that that is the strongest antioxidant known to man. Antioxidants come up through the ground, into your feet, into your body, and those scavenge and neutralize free radicals or damaged cells in the body and helps release them from the body. So I 100% highly recommend getting your bare feet on that ground as absolutely much as you possibly can. And I just find that to be an easier thing to do when you're in a situation like this. I do like to go in the backyard and do that at home anytime I get the chance to. And there are many other benefits as well. So just to touch on a few, stress relief. Studies show that being in nature reduces tension and depression. One study done in South Korea showed that just looking at pictures of natural settings increases people's positivity and emotional stability. With my clients, I try to encourage everyone to get out into nature for a minimum of two hours each week, and it has shown dramatic results in physical and mental healing. Vitamin D. Vitamin D has a wide range of health benefits. It also helps seriously boost our immune systems. In between the months of October and May in North America, none of us are getting enough vitamin D, and we all only need just about 10 to 15 minutes of natural sunlight per day for our bodies to produce the proper amounts of vitamin D. So get outside and treat yourself to some vitamin D, and just as a note, vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, so you do need to be eating healthy fats to optimize the vitamin D production in your body. Sleep. 
Sleep in nature can increase the sleep quality. This is partly due to stress reduction, but also because exposure to sunlight during the day can increase your melatonin production at night. And melatonin is necessary to regulate our sleep cycles. I sight so much time behind a screen that we all spend these days can really take its toll on our eyesight. So spending time outdoors gives your eyes a chance to focus on objects that are farther away. And this reduces eye strain as well as increasing the effectiveness of your eyesight. And we all want better eyesight rather than worse as we get older. Creativity. Researchers in the US and Germany found that being in nature helps improve creativity. The German study showed that even just looking at the color green for a few seconds triggered greater creativity than other colors. And my favorite one, relationships. We all, once again, spend so much time in front of screens these days. Getting out into nature is a great way to reconnect with family and friends and catch up in person. And it's quite honestly my absolute favorite way to spend quality time with loved ones. Going for a walk, or a hike, which leads me naturally into exercise. Getting outside usually involves some level of exercise, even if it's just a short walk. One thing for sure, you'll probably reduce time spent sitting. Even 15 to 30 minutes of exercise each day has long-term benefits for your mind and body. And a bonus of decreasing your chance of diseases. So there you have it. That is my video on my glamping experience and how you can stay optimally healthy while camping or glamping and the extra little health tidbits that I think are widely unknown generally. So if you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please do give it a thumbs up down there as that helps me know to keep producing content like this. If you want any other types of content, please do comment below and let me know. I tell test out a lot of products, I go places, I test out fitness classes, just whatever you think you can comment below and I'll do my best to produce said material. Please, please subscribe to this channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from and I sincerely appreciate each and every subscriber. Subscribing just gives you a place to come back to see the future videos. It's like a bookmark on a website or a favorites tab on the internet and it really helps me out on my end. If you would like notifications of when future videos are posted, please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be sent a notification each time I upload a video. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life and have super amounts of fun trying new experiences yourself. Knock those things off of your bucket list because you know what? One day there won't be any more time. Sounds kind of morbid, I guess, maybe, but just do it. Just do it. Live your life. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.